Okay, so the dress is here. Um, I bought this dress off of Amazon. Um, I will put the link in the description and I'll also put a picture right here. So I'll come back when some of it's done and I'll if I like it or not. So here it is. Uh, this bra is obviously not the best for it, but here the dress is. Okay, so now I want to cut it with the dress on so I can get some of the ratio of what I want to cut off. And this blue here, I just used Monica to trace these beads in blue that I'm gonna get, but the rest of them, which there's some more bead work here, over here, so the rest of the work. Okay, so we're just gonna go for it, I think. I think we're just gonna go for it. Oh my god, this is, oh, it's so many layers, so it's gonna take me a while to cut it. So, I'm gonna speed this part of the video up, because this is gonna take a while. This is about two days later since um, the last clip I filmed. Basically, I made a, few, a little mistake, okay? So, the airbrush I bought didn't come with the like pressure system that I needed to actually blow out air. I had to buy a new one, which is more expensive, but I should have known how cheap it was and been like, that's not right. But anyway, I didn't do that. So, now I have this bad boy. So I can actually start this today. I'm very excited. I've been trying to look forward to this all week. And yeah, so I do have the ink I showed you guys already. This is what I'm using. Um, hope it goes well. I have this surface hopefully not ruin my desk or whatever. So we're gonna see how much I can get done today. lighting is not the best but we're gonna give a little update so i have got some work done on the dress um it's about 7 30 i took a dinner break and we did some other stuff but i'll show you where i'm at so as you can see we have this bit which i think i'm gonna kind of make the blue go farther down as i'm thinking i don't mind how cut it is like it looks still looks not enough shaded down so i'm trying to make it look a little more even i'm gonna try it on tonight and see how it looks but this is what i got so far and this is the bottom that i got so far wait you guys can't see it right now i get those too low so this shows that much on camera that it does in real life looks a lot brighter in real life but you can see that's what we got so far on the bottom switch it needs work as you can see it needs work but we're making progress i think I haven't found blue this yet i colored this blue earlier but i'm tempted to change color blue because it doesn't really match with the blue i have I think I'm gonna airbrush this too. We're we'll gonna have a lighter airbrush and see how it goes. Um, so yeah. I wanna show you guys how the dress looks, like right now. Um, this is obviously, it needs some fixing up. But, um, it looks like right now, can't really tell, but it's this. I don't love it right now, it's, it's fine. This blue bit, I want to look better. It looks fine on camera, actually. It's a good thing. But this bottom is not dramatic enough. Like, you can see the blue, it's kind of, not even on camera. But it's not dramatic enough, so I'm gonna really work hard on that tomorrow. I think I'm almost done for the day though. I think I'm gonna do like a rim of blue right here. I also made these little leaves darker by adding more blue. I think I'm gonna also fade them out more and blow more blue to that. But yeah, this is what we got so far. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty. This is voice of American here because I was running out of time and I was sleepy and I did not talk during this clip. So I'm voicing it over right now. Basically, I bought a t-shirt on Amazon with these skeletons on it. I'll put it in the link in the description. And basically, I just put it where my ribcage was on the dress. Necessarily, I needed to wear it. So this is just kind of me figuring it out. But I honestly needed to wear it and then pin it on while I'm wearing it. And then take the dress off and sew it from there. I hand sewed it to the dress, which is kind of hard because of the beading. But it worked good enough. So as you can see here, I pinned it on and then I just sewed it. Now here I'm making the flower crown, and I took two flower crowns, which I'll put both in the description, and I combined them together to make one 
flower crown with lots of variation of flowers. Basically, I just glued the black ones on with some hot glue. Really simple, really easy. For the veil, I just, this like mesh material that I also found on Amazon, which I'll also put in the description, I uh, just pinned it to it. And yeah, that's basically it. It's not the best way to do it, but I liked it because I can easily take it off and on just because I really hated it. I can easily remake it.